gentlemen. Thank you so very much for being with us here all the way towards the end of day one. And as we draw towards the close of today's forum, I'd like to now call upon um, two very special individuals. Firstly, Professor Dr. Hyun Bang Shin, Professor of Geography and Urban Studies, LSE, and Director of the Saw Sui Hawk Southeast Asia Center, SEAC, United Kingdom, as well as Dr. Suraya Ismail, Director of Research, KRI Malaysia, to join us on stage briefly and deliver their concluding remarks, basically summing up all of today's sessions in a quick nutshell. Very briefly, Dr. Suraya promises. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for all of you have, who have stayed here until about nearly six. Um, we promised to do a very short summary, but let me just thank everyone for the first day, uh, for all the panelists and speakers who have shared their knowledge and wisdom with us, um, and all the interesting questions that we have had so far. Um, sorry that we couldn't have uh, enough time to answer all. But tomorrow we'll improvise because we are innovative, right? So we'll, have, we'll, we'll shorten the time for the breaks. We'll ensure that more, uh, we will have less time for breaks and we'll come in quite early. So hopefully by then we'll have more time for the questions as well as to ensure that um, we do end on time. Um, I'll just do three um, concluding remarks and I think um, Hyun will do uh, more than three. Three? Uh, three. Three as well. So um, I think... Um, what I would like to reflect on, on today's session is that um, we have started, I mean, this conference, this forum has started speaking um, on the future or futures, but based on the gaps and opportunities that we have had. Um, and, and these futures, um, I think, now from today's discussion, must be couched in the new relationship um, in terms of uh, from the earlier session, uh, the political um, and um, uh, political, uh, one can say division, but also within um, the new relationships we will forge regionally and globally. Um, so I think this is uh, very important for us to then um, look into um, our future, planting the seeds for the future, but also understanding the geopolitics of where we stand in the scheme of things for Malaysia and our relationship with Southeast Asia. I think, I think that's very important now. I mean, we used to be quite insular in our policy making, but I think now is a great time to forge new relationships and understand the strength of each country so that we can, we can go stronger as a region. And that goes into the, the GVCs that we've spoke about and, and having policies that links um, firms with the GVCs but also regionally. I think one of the speakers spoke about building resilience. Um, one of the speakers spoke about complementary advantage. And I think that's just very important for us to grow together. Um, secondly, I think um, um, one of the issues that I thought was very interesting was the understanding the strengths of the market and government. I think if you understand the character of the market and the motivation of the market, which I think is for profit, and the character of a government, which I hope is for social uh, democracy or welfare, um, then we then understand that some of the initiatives is not just about what is efficacious or efficiency, but also what, what, what are the things that will govern the well-being of citizens. I think, I think that's also important in our understanding of what is important for the country. And I, I'm glad that the Futures and the Forum, sorry, the, the session just now spoke of that as well. Um, and the last one, I think, um, which I thought was from the Urban Futures was very interesting, was the language we use. Um, language is very, very powerful. Um, once we, 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 we are caught with certain labels, it becomes sometimes like of a mantra, and we get, we get 
caught into it without really understanding that it might not really benefit our country or our, our respective cities. Um, and I think um, pulling in the, the, the second and the third session, I think I was very, um, very, very, um, um, what was the word, motivated by the fact that we are looking at the character of economic growth that further promotes uh, democratic practices. We're not just looking at economic growth as GDP, as you know, effic efficient uh, cities and uh, firms, but what are those characters of growth that promotes a more um, participatory um, order, a more uh, go uh, governance from a, a more inclusive uh, manner, which is democratic. So, so I, I'm glad that those discussions took place today, and that would be a way in which we uh, carve policies that also further the democratic process. I think that's fantastic. And I think that's from me today. Thank you very much. Um, let me also uh, thank every speaker uh, from Professor Jomo to all the way to the last uh, panel members in the final session. All those are very interesting and we, want, we don't want to summarize every point. So, um, and, and Soraya has uh, uh, very uh, uh, helpfully summarized the key points. And I, I just want to kind of you know, share three observations that came to my mind, which also uh, um, were uh, something that I came to think about uh, while having some conversations with one of the students actually here during the uh, break time, and also kept, kept thinking about these you know, uh, while listening to uh, panel conversations. One is probably the need of, uh, we talked about economic um, uh, futures and urban futures and institutional futures. Um, and especially in thinking about the economic futures and urban futures, it came to my mind that it, it will be useful actually to think of, make do a more joined up thinking where we need to re really put the economic policies together with urban policies. It's, there's a bit of tendency, uh, even within my own department where uh, people working on economic geography, not really you know, having that kind of in-depth conversation with urban uh, uh, scholars and vice versa. And I think this is probably a little dangerous and given the way we are having a discussion, there's definitely a need of you know, having more uh, joined up kind of conversation thinking to put the economic policies and urban policies together rather than you know, separation. We have the, uh, the title of the event as Malaysia Futures, which kind of uh, 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 which naturally uh, are driving us to think of these questions from state scale uh, on a uh, national uh, uh, state scale. I mean, this, that's inevitable and also very important and necessary. Um, but at the same time, perhaps it will be useful to think of you know, changing the reference point as well. So in thinking about the more bottom-up approaches that came up in many you know, discussions, um, it will be probably useful to think of you know, what will be the localist perspective or localist strategy whether that uh, localist strategy be at more provincial scale or city scale, or whether it be a neighborhood, neighborhood scale, uh, it will be probably useful to think of you know, how those strategies that we think we consider at the national scale may change or may stay the same if we kind of you know, change the reference point. And here, I guess uh, the last point I want to make is and is the, 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 polit uh, the issue of the political. So this question came out and was discussed uh, right, uh, you know, from time to time, and this has been implicitly um, uh, mentioned and, and, and uh, was becoming the foundation of many discussions that we had in the, in the discussion about the reforms. But perhaps it would be also useful to think of how every day um, is indeed in a very much the domain of the political as well. So a lot of the discussions that we talk about, the bottom-up strategies or top-down strategies, um, there may be a tendency to leave these questions to the task of policymakers. I may have kind of uh, uh, posed a similar question. What are the policy, policy implications or policy uh, strategies that we can think of? But these are not to be remaining as the domain of policymakers or politicians or key think tanks. These will have to involve in a, uh, uh, political decisions which happen at, uh, within families, within neighborhoods, within communities, and, and acknowledging the fact that you know, the everyday life itself is very, very much political. And we need to be really politicizing people as much as we can, you know, and, and try not to hesitate and not to you know, 
take the, the politicization question something to be afraid of because our life itself is very much political life. Our decision making at individual scale, within families, within communities, all these decisions are involving the use of resource uh, at individual and family level and also at community and city level. And all these decision making processes are very much a political process but we seem to be somehow referring to political process as something that stays with the politicians and not with individuals and with the commu within communities. So maybe this is something we may want to uh, reinstigate, reinvigorate, you know, the whole political life to be the basis of urban life and basis of economic life, as well as the institutional life. And uh, probably that kind of you know, uh, thinking might be something we want to probably perhaps actively discuss and more explicitly, explicitly bring up to the surface of our discussions. So that's probably one last observation I want to share. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you once again. The personal is indeed political. Professor Dr. Shin, Dr. Suraya, thank you so very much for your time and for summing up the entire day.